in the previous episode, we started off line whatever number this is. Whatever letter. Yeah, I get those mixed up. <laughs> Ruby, today's episode. <laughs> I can't speak words properly with my mouth. Hello, everybody. This is the year to you, and welcome back to this place, Platoon 2 Octo Expansion. In the previous episode, we defeated the last boss of Octo Expansion. In today's episode, it's time for Feel the Burn of Baller Size Station. Which means we get to see Agent Aiden the Baller again, and she's so adorable. Please use the baller's invincibility to make your way to the goal. Reaching a checkpoint will add some uh, time back on the clock. If you need to make the baller explode, you can do so by pressing the ZR button. Once again, oh, no, never mind, we can't do that. <laughs> I was about to stay on the platform and just admire how adorable Agent 8 is in the baller, but we're on a time limit, so we can't exactly do that right now, which is a bit unfortunate, but we've seen her in the baller before. She's so adorable in this, it's just so cool. But something that I gotta point out real quick, and I know I mentioned this before, but Agent 8 is also wearing heels, and she's running around this uh, hamster ball thing. So, would that kill her feet, or would she not really care that much? Because uh, Octolings don't have bones. That's something they always think about. But anyway, now we can go over here, destroy these boxes, and move onward. So, dodge the Octo missiles and keep going. So, we only have 10 more seconds left. Oh no, whatever we gonna do, we're not gonna make it. We made it. <laughs> so, when you reach the checkpoint, you'll be given a few more seconds to get over to the next area. It's not really that challenging once you know what you're doing, but... Whoa! <laughs> that does really cool. I'm so glad I got that on recording. That was really cool. <laughs> Alright, so... Next thing we need to do, we need to use uh, the jumping attack uh, to destroy this guy, or we can not do that. I don't know exactly what happened there. But this next area can be a bit tricky, unless you go around like this, because these jerks are going to keep bl blocking your progress if you try going through them. But if you go around, things should be okay. Next up, easy breezy, sweet ride, Stacent. Right, the tower. No! I thought we were done with these. I thought we were done with these. No. Okay, it's on Starfish main stage. I like this stage. Hopefully, it'll be okay. Ooh, it's Black Brother. Uh, mm, uh, uh, mm, mm. What do I want to do? 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 Want to do? Uh, Closing my eyes, smashing button. Boom! No, not that one. Ah. Okay. Yes. Fine. Whatever. Please ride the tower to the enemy goal. The tower will start moving once you're on board. Be aware that the tower will pause for a bit when it reaches each checkpoint. Hopefully this is the last time we have to see Tower Control in Octo Expansion. Okay, all you gotta do is ride that tower all the way to the enemy goal. Just like in the previous Tower Control and Rainmaker stages in Octo Expansion, you can get splat as many times uh, as you want uh, during this uh, five minute battle, but just keep in mind that you only have five minutes to do this and that can be really mean. Tower control in general is just mean. It's not a nice mode. It is evil. And then we're back at checkpoint one. Yay! So try to remain on the tower as long as humanly possible. Or inking, inklingly as possible. Or octolingly as possible. I don't know how to use that phrase, but bottom line is stay on the tower. Unless you get splatted. <laughs> it's almost over. This is the last tower control match we had to play for Octo Expansion. Hopefully, maybe, sort of, kind of. Okay. So, yeah, we go across this area, and it, it just always bothers me whenever it clips through things like that. That right there is a, is a mean strategy, having the sprinkler up there. 
But at least it's not like Bluefin Depot in the first game, how people can throw a sprinkler on a part of the stage that you can't reach normally, which means that you can't possibly get it down. So that part of the turf is basically forever owned by the other team and screwed. So basically for this level, keep your eye on everything. Keep an eye on where they're going to be um, appearing at. They're usually always going to appear in the same spots, so just keep that in mind. They're almost always going to try to throw a splat bomb at you, and there's going to be sprinklers everywhere. And at least one of the Octolings will also always have a splashdown equipped, and they will try to use it whenever whenever they can. Definitely keep an eye on that. If a splat bomb appears on the tower, get off the tower. If uh, somebody is going to be jumping towards the tower, like that, get off the tower! Ah, no, no. Ah. Okie dokie, it's all good now. It's all good, we just need to survive for a little bit more, a little more. Yes, 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 yes! Yes, it's over! It's over! It's over! That was not an easy breezy ride. This level is false advertising. Next up, just ink it in, Shooter McStason. Bust all the targets before time runs out. So, one thing I gotta say about the Rainmaker and Tower Control levels is I can understand why they didn't have a Splat Zones level. For the most part. It would've been cool if they did have one, but I can understand why they didn't do that. But, Something I don't quite understand is Octo Expansion came out roughly around the same time as Clam Blitz. Um, for those of you who don't know, Clam Blitz was added to the game a few months after the base game was released. I don't remember the exact timeline right now, so I'll have a caption on screen explaining this all. But basically, Clam Blitz came out very close to this game coming out, to uh, Octo Expansion coming out. But they don't have a Clam Blitz level in this mode. Um, so I'm kind of curious what exactly was going on with the development team. Did they have separate teams working on the online modes and another team working on Octo Expansion? That's probably what they did. But it's just something that I'm really curious about. Like, did the Octo Expansion even did the Octo Expansion team even know that they were working on Clan Blitz? Like, that's something that I'm really curious about. All right, let's do this. My timing on this is not the best in the world, so this could be a bit tricky. Uh, yay, we did it! Test passed! Exclamation point! Exclamation points are important! MC Princess has joined the chat room. Hey! Sup, girl! Welcome back, music known. So, I went back to Encopolis Square to buy some juice and, like, there's a bunch of Octolings just hanging out! Doctarians are upon us! I'm so happy! It's all the Octolings who were reborn when they heard the Calamari Incantation. No fan of the Incantation is a foe of mine. I don't see species. Yeah. Anyway, this is amazing. I'm sure the Octolings will pick up the ins and outs of the Inkling culture in no time, and hopefully add some of their own flavor too, smiley face. Yes! I can't wait to hear more Octarian music bumping through the city. You think they'll want in on Turf War? Of course. Nice! Terfor! I knew it! The next great Terfor has begun! Nah, Cap, it ain't like that. Kids from our generation treat Turf War battles like a sport. You know, for fun. Is that so? Music note. It sounds like some of them are already working for Grisco. Dang, makes sense though. With any of my enemy and all that. Except we're not enemies. True that. You're, you're reading all this hate? The sooner you get out of here, the sooner we can Turf War it all up. Together. This is something that I absolutely love about Octo Expansion. We're going to talk more about this in the next episode, but this is something that I really love because when this came out, I was kind of worried how they were going to explain Octoling suddenly appearing in Incopolis when I haven't beaten the campaign yet. This provides a really great explanation for that because it seems like we're not the only Octolings in the Deep Sea Metro who were affected by Calamari Incantation. It's something that I absolutely love about this game.